Soon may the weller man come Bring us coffee, tea and rum One day the tonguing is done Take our leave and go At a fair My usual sailing grounds on the north of Barkley Lake have become a little stale as of late, so I decided to take a bit of a road trip down south near the Kentucky-Tennessee border, still on the same body of water. This far upstream, the Cumberland is still pretty narrow and very much resembles a real river with current and everything. Just south of the town of Dover is an expansive network of wooded shoals and islands among the flooded river bottoms. I've never sailed anywhere quite like this. The area feels very remote. It would be possible to get lost here among the many winding passages and random patches of timber. I'll be releasing a couple videos focused more on exploring the river bottoms. But for now, I just wanted to share some fun sailing footage from my last field trip there. It's probably imperceptible in the video, but there's actually a noticeable current where I'm sailing, and I'm sailing upstream. On this trip I've dispensed with my usual bucket hat because obviously if you get anywhere near a river, especially with a boat, you gotta have the big straw hat. But honestly it was blazing hot and the big straw hat is essentially shade you can wear.
pennants are now available at cumberlandrover.com. Historically flown for signal purposes, a pennant is that indescribable something that your boat is missing. They can help you read the wind, increase visibility of your small craft, and they just look cool, fluttering from the masthead or yard of a lug sail. You can have any color you want, as long as it's bright red. I have two styles of pennant now available at cumberlandrover.com.